All right, man, welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is how you can run TikTok ads for mobile app installs. So first, we're going to figure out is how you can set up your MMP, your mobile measurement partner. Second is how you can create video creatives using organic testing. Third is TikTok campaign setups. So what we're going to do is go through one of the strategies that you can use to basically set up your campaigns for a low budget. Fourth is optimizing your landing page and in-app functionality. So basically, we just want to cover making sure that when someone does land on your landing page, which will be your store or your app inside the app store or Android store, that they're there, your, your creatives, your pictures, the reviews, the ratings, that they're beneficial and their time there will be useful. You want to make sure that you, re you retain their attention and also capture their attention. And then lastly, running the ads. This is probably the easiest part, but making sure that when you actually do run it, things are set up. You don't want to drive yourself crazy running and looking at ads on a second by second, minute by minute basis, but we'll go through all of these things. So first thing first, we're going to talk about the mobile measurement partner. This is probably the hardest part of going through creating and running TikTok ads for mobile apps, because typically with your um, TikTok ads for drop shipping, e-commerce or landing pages, it's pretty straightforward. They let you create an account and you can get straight to it. But with mobile apps, it's a lot more difficult now that you have to have a MMP or scan. With those two, it makes it a lot more difficult. So first, uh, you want to connect your app from the App Store. You want to integrate the SDK and then connect your partner account. So for me, I was fortunate enough to connect with someone that had used Apps Flyer before, and then they showed me how to connect it for my app and help me. Although it still took me about a month to do, uh, it was very beneficial. And we'll go through really quickly how you do it. So to fly through the steps, and then I'll actually show you. First, you want to connect your app from the App Store. Basically, you have a website link and you'll use that link to attach inside of the Apps Flyer dashboard. Next, you'll receive a, a, dev, a developer key. So next, you'll receive a developer key. Basically, you'll need that to integrate into the, the SDK into your app. So like when you're actually on the back end of your application installing the, the Apps Flyer SDK, you'll use that developer key so it's connecting your account and everything slow, flows through. Lastly, or Second, you want to integrate the SDK. This is the step that's most important and most difficult. You need a test device, whether that's for Android or iPhone. So you'll actually need a phone that you can use and you'll need the Apps Flyer app so that you can connect and use and test your app for certain events. So if you do just installs, when someone installs, you want to make sure that you test so that that install is captured. If someone does an in-app purchase and you want to capture that, being able to do that, um, any specifics that you want to capture, maybe you have reasons for doing it, um, Maybe if you want to capture if someone first time users interact with certain parts of your application or use certain functionality, you can track those. You can track those transactions as well. So after you do all that, you'll install on your app. And then lastly, you'll connect your partner account. This is probably the last step after the the test for the test device is done. Your partner account should be connected. You'll in this case, you'll connect with TikTok to your Apps Flyer account and you can start running ads. So let me go to the Apps Flyer website and then I can show you what you need to do. So now that you are on the Apps Flyer website, you'll need to create an account and you'll get to this part where you see settings. Now I already have an app that's connected, but what I'll do is I'll click new app. And what you want to do is click new app again, add app. So what you'll do here is basically you'll connect your app from any of the platforms. In this case, we'll say iOS, you'll click available in app store, and then you'll take, I'll take a random app to put it in so you can see that Basically, it'll just connect and make sure that it's validated and you aren't using an app that already is connected via Apps Flyer or some other MMP. And then you'll just connect. You'll click whatever currency you use. I just click no for this one just to keep going forward. And then you receive your developer key. Now, after you receive your developer key, it's important to keep this. You want to track this. It, you can find it elsewhere within the Apps Flyer um, platform, but just put this somewhere. It's important. You'll need it later when installing the SDK. Now, the next two pieces are a bit more difficult and I would have to actually go through it and that would be a whole video in itself. But basically you want to register your device. You'll take an Apps Flyer app that they have for you to test your device. You'll test your device. But before that even happens, you need to download the and install the SDK on your mobile application so that whatever app you connected via the link, you need to install those applic you need to install the SDK so that it's Apps Flyer is integrated into your application so that they can track when these um, transactions are happening. So after you do that, you have the option to do select in-app events. So for instance, when we were discussing uh, further than just, okay, someone installed my app, let me track who that person is. Now it's this person installed my app. What did they do when they got inside? Did this person um, purchase 
any of our subscriptions? Did they click on a specific event? Did they use certain attributes or certain functionalities inside the app? And you can track that based on certain campaigns that they interacted with. So if you have two campaigns and four ad sets, let's say ad set number four, they went through and they used three different functionalities and they purchased and a subscription. You can put more ad revenue or ad uh, budgeting towards ad set number four, and you can track all of these movements and transactions that a user uh, has within your app. Now, I personally, for my app in the beginning, just did installs, but having that level of detail of data to track what someone's doing is very beneficial. And then lastly, for preparing the SDK, uh, you'll take the developer key that we just talked about, integrate into your app, and then you'll finish the install. And then the biggest thing after that is just testing. So you use your test device after you've installed the SDK, and then you'll test to make sure that the connections are working, the data that's being sent from AppsFlyer to your app, to your phone, everything's connected. Lastly, connecting your partner account. What you wanna do is go to TikTok, and I'll actually show you really quickly. So like your TikTok ad account. Inside of your TikTok ad account, what you wanna do is go to tools, and then you want to click not that one. You wanna to go to tools and click events. Now, once you go to events, you'll see app events, you'll click manage. Now I already have apps set up for me to run ads for, but if you didn't, you would go through, you would click create new app and you'll go through the process of creating a new app. They'll end up giving you a key that you'll need so that you can connect your apps flyer account to your TikTok account, TikTok ads manager. Basically once you make that connection, and your SDK is installed, you've tested your app based on, you've tested the data sending um, an install event to your phone and then the phone sending it back to AppsFlyer. Once all those are confirmed, basically you will now have access to run TikTok ads. So that's like the final step. So connecting uh, to partners. The scan conversion is like the next step. That's like the next iteration of MMP. So it's important to use this, but for right now, just keeping it simple so that you can start running TikTok ads for mobile app installs, the th things that I just stated will be more than beneficial and helpful for you. Cool, so next thing. Now that your ads are set up, or now that your account for running ads is set up, you need video creators. This is like the most important piece. A lot of people think that just having the running ads is gonna get you leads or whatever your conversion is, in this case, app installs. Not necessarily. You need to create good and great creatives. And in TikTok, p having Something that is not user generated may cause a distraction or interrupt someone's feed. So if you're used to seeing people making funny videos and TikToks, and then you have an ad of a video that's an app, that's just the app and no face, it interrupts the flow that the person had when using that app. And one, it'll cause them not to interact with further apps or further ads, and it will cause your ad to, do, to perform poorly. So what you wanna do is you want to test organic content for one to two weeks. I'd say just create one video at minimum. I was creating three videos a day, and basically they were just, you have the, the option. You can do high quality, one video per day, or you can do multiple videos per day. And because the app was my app, I had no issue being the face of the content. But if that's not the case for you, and you need people to create content, it may be within your budget to only do one video per day, or just test a, a package, maybe purchasing uh, four videos at a time. And test these videos over, a, uh, I say over a span of a week, two weeks, just to see what works. Just because you create a video for an ad for your app to say, hey, download this app, that doesn't necessarily sign signify that people will interact with it well on this platform in the way that you presented it. So it's important to, f to find different ways to present the same information so that people can interact with your content and in the end, build an engaging audience and a video. So I'd say post one video per day. Choose different hooks, different angles to attract different audiences. So for instance, if you were um, creating a video game app, it wouldn't just be, hey, this new app is cool. Maybe it's, are you bored of new apps? Are you bored of new games? Are you trying to find a new game? Like different ways to interact and find that audience or their pain point to download or use whatever app you have presented them with. And then after that, you'll have a few winning creatives, one or two, and you'll just take the, because with TikTok, you can only use um, two ad sets per campaign. First, we're gonna start off with two ads. Those are the most important two. I'd say start off with four, but let's say four just so you have a backup. So we're gonna only use two ads at a time. So we're gonna take the best two ads that 
ran organically on your page and then we're going to use those and we're going to use those so that you can run TikTok ads now the TikTok campaign setup uh we'll actually just go through the process and i'll actually show my ad account so that you can understand what i did but what we're going to do we're going to take the we're going to take the two best creatives that you use when you were posting organically on TikTok. now for mobile apps again you can only use two ad sets per campaign now because we're using and doing organic posting we are essentially skipping the step of creative testing because we know what works organically on TikTok. So we're not gonna do creative testing. What we'll do is create a budget for $20 per day per ad set and inside of the ad set, it, there will only be one ad creative. So you'll have a campaign with two ad sets. Inside of that campaign, there will be two ad sets and each ad, ad set will be $20. So you in the beginning will just be running a $40 per day campaign for your TikTok creatives and there will be no interest targeting. No interest targeting for me worked best because TikTok has a very strong algorithm. They'll put the ad in front of the best audience. And the most important thing is the video creative being really good and then your ad copy. Just making sure that whatever your ad copy is has something to do with the video in some way so that TikTok can relate the ad copy and the creative and put it in front of the best audience. I ran ads from January 19th until January 31st, give or take. I, it might've even been January 30th. I spent roughly $800 and the conversion rate looks low, but I'll actually show you what my conversion rate was inside of my App Store Connect and it's very different. So over that time period, I spent $800. My cost per click on average was 50 cent and I had over 100,000 impressions. Now that's pretty good. My click through rate on average was 1.45, 1.5%. So on average, if I'm not mistaken, the click-through rate on TikTok videos are 1%, give or take, maybe even less. And I spent $787 and I'm looking at my ad account, my tick, not my TikTok, my App Store Connect account. I received just shy of 1,100 units or downloads. So I had, we'll add that up really quick. So I had just about a 78% cost per install, which is really good. If you go on other platforms, they'll be two to $3. And I was averaging 78 cent per install for my app just because the creatives were really good. And on top of that, the no interest targeting was really important as well. Sometimes putting your uh, creatives in front of a specific audience may or may not work. So to show and so that you understand that I'm not lying about the installs, same date range from January 19th to January 31st. I and 31st, I believe I actually stopped running as at maybe halfway through the day. But on average, I was over 70 installs per day on a $40 to $60 budget. Um, on some days, it was a little bit higher. Maybe I did ramp up to maybe $80 on certain days, especially around this 120 to on average, I was 120 downloads per day. And I was also being because of the ad creatives and the app being a good app, I was able to incur revenue. So I had one month subscriptions. I had three month subscriptions, 12 month subscriptions, um, ranging from 12 to $85. So because of that, I was able to generate a little bit of revenue that offset some of the costs that um, I was spending on ads, on ads. So I ended up breaking even or a little bit more than breaking even. But overall, I would say this was a successful campaign for what I needed it for. I wanted to test my app and understand if people were interacted with it. So if that's something that you're interested in, I would say definitely try something like this. Alrighty, so after people see your ads, you've created your ads, you've created good creatives, you have set up and installed the SDK apps flyer onto your app and it's connected via TikTok. Next, you want to make sure that your landing page is optimized. So before we start running, similar to drop shipping, you have your landing page for purchasing products. In this case, you're going to say your landing page is whatever your app store link is. So when you do get to your, when a, when a potential user gets to your landing page or your app store page, you want to make sure the picture is good, the description is good, the reviews are there, and ratings exist as well. All these create trust, appeal, and confidence to download your app. So after that, you have to understand the initial interaction with your app after they download it is important. So for instance, if someone downloads your app, they need to have a frictionless and smooth first interaction with your app. That means there can't be any hiccups. There shouldn't be any situations where it's too hard to sign up. Um, you want to make it as frictionless so they can interact and use what the app was designed for and or what they were brought there for via the ad. So one thing I didn't mention throughout all of this is that I offer 
essentially a full service TikTok ads agency, but more so focused on helping you install, create video ads, set up and manage your campaign, optimizing your landing page so that you can ensure that when your audience does get to your page, it is essentially like a, a strong funnel of viewing your ad, interacting with the landing page, downloading your ad, using it and enjoying it. I understand that throughout this process, I had a lot of difficulty first installing the SDK for Apps Flyer and any other MMP, creating creatives that are attractive, engaging, people want to interact with, that doesn't mess up the feed of someone organically, setting up and managing TikTok campaigns, whether that be in the form of creating lookalike audiences, retargeting, managing, making sure that when ads are underperforming, knowing when they are, knowing how to respond to that, drop ads, create and improvise, improvise different creatives. The landing page, when your user does land on your landing page or your app store, making sure that your pictures are good, your description, your reviews, your ratings, creating all these to have a brand loyalty, trust, appeal, and confidence to download, then also that initial interaction with your app so that everything that they went through prior to that makes sense when they get to your, to your app. All right, so lastly, your ads are live. And again, the installs will start to come in. Trust, if you go through all of these steps and you find that your ads are not working, more than likely it's because your creatives aren't good. And if your creatives are good, then your landing page is not good. So just making sure that every piece of this funnel, whether that be your creatives or your landing page or your app as a whole is interactive, engaging, and fun will ensure that you get more installs. So again, if you have any difficulty with any of these steps, reach out. You can reach out, at, whether that be DMs. I will have everything in the description. That can be DMs, that can be email, that can be commenting on the YouTube video. If you need help installing your MMP, whether you need help creating engaging video creatives, whether you need help setting up and managing your TikTok campaigns, landing page optimization, or scaling of your ads, whether that be retargeting and lookalike audiences, please do not hesitate to reach out, whether it be Instagram, the comment section, or email. So yeah, I'll finish with this. And this is really important because I've dabbled into Google ads, I've dabbled into TikTok ads, and I know how this can and will go. If you do choose to do this on your own, do not drive yourself crazy. Watch, do not watch ads every minute, every hour, checking your phone nonstop because it's out of your control at this point. At most, I say check three to four times a day, maybe first thing in the morning, lunch, nighttime, especially on a lower budget because if you're doing $20 ad sets, you're not reaching that large of an audience for it to be optimized, if you will. So let the ads run, let them play out, understand that it's going to take time. I'd say on every two to three days, you can really make decisions on how ads are performing. Sometimes before that, if you just clearly see it's the click through rate is not good, you're not getting that many impressions, the cost per uh, mill is extremely high, the budget is high, but you don't have that many impressions, things like that, you can, you know, pretty much spot on see, okay, in one day, I know this is horrible. But I say give it two to three days just so that you can make a fair comparison given your budget. So with all of that, that is the video. I know it's, it was a jam-packed video, a lot of things in there, but if you go through those steps, whether that be installing your MMP correctly, video creatives, TikTok campaign setup, landing page optimization, and then running your ads and not driving yourself crazy, you will have a successful TikTok ad campaign. And if you need any help with that, again, do not hesitate to reach out. I am more than willing to help, whether that be just helping you set up TikTok uh, campaigns, managing questions, whatever it may be, just let me know. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, Slap the like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.